Hello, I'm Madeline Edgar and I'm here again to give you some more marvellous movement Feldenkrais tips. And today we're going to talk about something a little bit different and it's about messages from the past. Sometimes when you're doing these awareness through movement lessons or movement sequences from my marvellous movement books, you'll find that little echoes pop and somebody might have said to you, um, pull your shoulders back, stand up straight, like my mother did with me. Or don't wiggle your hips, it's too sexy. Or ladies should sit with their knees together, which was very appropriate when we wore skirts, but most of us don't anymore. Um, there's lots of little messages you can think of like that. And sometimes something someone has said to you in the past really quite deeply impacts you when you're very young. I remember a client I had who had terrible neuromas, growths on the nerves in the bones in her feet. And she'd had 33 operations on them. The surgeons decided they couldn't operate anymore because there was too much scar tissue. So after I'd given her really a basically very simple lesson, as she got up and walked, she said to me, Oh, I'm putting my heel down first. And I said to her, Well, yes, actually, that's what you're meant to do. Oh, no, she said. My dad was a YMCA instructor, and he taught me to run with my toes down first. And she'd been doing it ever since. 50 years or more. Um, after that lesson she started to experience a lot less pain in her feet and it really makes sense that the heel does come down first. It's a big bone. It's meant to take your weight first and then the toes push off. So that's one little story about how her father had such a huge, huge impact on her life. Another gentleman I worked with was a fellow who had been in the commandos during the Second World War and he had an awful lot of back pain and nothing really had helped. And when I checked him out in standing, his weight was really very far forwards on his feet. So again, at the end of the lesson, when he stood up, he felt he was going to fall backwards. And I said to him, well, that's because you're now actually better aligned. You really ha do have your weight in the correct place so that your bones can support you. But you've been doing sub-commando work since the 1940s and you're still doing it. And he was quite surprised, but he was. He was ready to take off on his toes, ready to go. So coming back into proper alignment for him really felt very, very strange, but it did help to relieve his back pain. <laughs> so I invite you to think about some of the things adults might have said to you, teachers or whoever, and remember that they may have thought that was right for you at the time, but it may not have been right for you. And if like me, um, your mother smacked you between the shoulders and said, stand up straight because I was a rebel, I would immediately think, no, I won't and be a little bit more round-shouldered, which was a bit dangerous, but fortunately the Feldenkrais method brought me out of that. <laughs> so sometimes think, are you saying the same sort of things to your children, consciously or unconsciously? Um, I think it's really, really interesting to start looking at these things, so just listen for those little voices from the past and see what comes up for you. So thank you, and just remember my marvellousmovement.com website for my books, and I'll see you again. Bye.